Hello guys, in this video we are talking about quantitative informations that we can get from balanced equations. But before we jump into chemistry, let's make some cheeseburgers. So our question is how many cheeseburgers with double patties, mm, yummy, can we prepare if we have 16 patties? So here is the recipe, we need one bun, we need two patties, we need a piece of cheese, we need a bunch of veggies, but we have a lot of that, it's not included in the recipe, and we will make one very tasty cheeseburger. So now, if I have 16 of my patties, how many cheeseburgers can I make? Well, for one cheeseburger, I need two patties, so 16 divided by two, I'm going to make eight cheeseburgers okay i hope this makes sense let's do it with a conversion factor okay it's going to look a little bit silly but this is exactly what you will be doing with moles and grams in chemical reactions so let's say that i have 16 patties and i want to cancel out the number of patties to get to the number of cheeseburgers so the patties will go below and the cheeseburger will go on top okay so in my reaction i can see that the ratio of patties to cheeseburgers is two to one so if i do this calculation the number of patties will cancel out and i will finally see that i was correct i will make eight cheeseburgers and i keep missing the e in cheese let's try to do the same thing in a chemical reaction so in this reaction we have hydrogen gas and oxygen gas forming water in the gas phase. So this reaction is actually one of my favorite demonstrations that I like to show in in-person classes as hydrogen gas produces beautiful flames. However, you need to be very careful with that because hydrogen gas is highly flammable, but the demonstration is really beautiful. Okay, so we are given in this question and we have two and a half moles of oxygen gas and we have to calculate how many moles of water can be formed from two and a half moles of oxygen gas well if you look at the reaction you can see that our more ratio is one to two right so this means that if i have one oxygen molecule i can form two water molecules which also means that i have one mole of oxygen gas i can form two moles of water all right now i am told that i have two and a half mole of oxygen gas so i'm going to be able to form double the amount so five moles of water okay Let's do the calculation similarly as we did with the patties and the cheeseburgers. So I start with 2.5 moles of oxygen gas, and I have to cancel out the moles of oxygen gas and get to the moles of H2O. So in the reaction, I see that the ratio is 1 to 2. So this is exactly what I'm going to plug in here. And if you do the calculation, you are going to get two times two and a half, five moles of water, H2O. Okay, I hope this makes sense. Let's do a little bit more of these using grams. Okay, so in our question, we have to figure out how many grams of water can be formed from 17 and a half grams of oxygen gas so now in order to figure out the grams of water i have to take the grams of oxygen gas convert it into moles using the mole ratio from the reaction 
convert it into moles of water. And if I know the moles of water, I can get the grams of water. So let me show you how. So we start with 17.5 grams of O2, right? So I can go from grams to moles using the molar mass of oxygen. So the grams of O2 going to be on the bottom, moles of O2 on top. I know that one mole of O2 has a molar mass of 32.00, okay? So now the grams of O2 cancel out. I have the moles of O2, but I need H2O, so I have to use the factors from the reaction, which is 2H2O from one mole of O2. So moles of O2 on the bottom, right? That's what we are canceling out. Moles of H2O on top. One mole of O2 will give us two moles of H2O. So let's cancel out the moles of O2. And now we have to go from moles of H2O into grams of H2O. And I know that one mole of water actually weighs 18.01 grams, right? That's the molar mass of water. So if you do this calculation, you are going to arrive to 19.7 grams of H2O, right? The moles of water also canceled out. Okay. So now, if I am doing the same reaction with 17.5 grams of oxygen gas, how many grams of hydrogen gas do I need to perform this reaction? Okay, so now I'm looking for the grams of H2. So, I start again with 17.5 grams of O2, similarly as I did before. But in this case, I have to go from the grams of O2 to the moles of O2, and from the moles of O2 to the moles of H2 to get to the grams of H2, hydrogen gas. So, I'm canceling out the grams of O2. And I want to get to the moles of O2. So I know that one mole is 32.00 grams. That is, again, just the molar mass. Grams canceled out. Now I want to cancel out the moles of O2 to get to the moles of H2. Okay, let's take a look at the reaction. What is the ratio of O2 to H2? one mole of O2, two moles of H2. This is exactly what I'm going to put in right here. And then I have to convert the moles of H2 into grams. So in my next fraction, I have the moles of H2 on the bottom and grams of H2 on top. And I know that the molar mass of H2 is 2.02 grams. Okay, now if you do this calculation, you are going to get 2.2 grams of H2. So this simply means that when you mix together 2.2 grams of H2 with 17.5 grams of O2, you are going to form 19.7 grams of H2O. Okay, I hope this makes sense. See you in the next video.